Well, I knew that, that I eventually wanted to come to Harlingen South, you know, growing up in Harlingen and playing on the other side of town, um, you know, I'd kind of reached uh, the position that I didn't have uh, any growth left as offensive coordinator, um, talking to uh, my head coach at the time there, Coach Manny Gomez, and, and, and deciding and talking with my family that um, to grow and be able to get the, uh, a head coaching job, I'd probably have to venture out. So I decided to do that and, and was blessed enough to get a job at Lyford, a great little small community, uh, just 15 minutes north of Harlingen. I was able to meet some great coaches over there, coach some great athletes, and was able to have some success, uh, you know, thank God. So uh, four years later, the job opened in Harlingen South. Uh, you know, it didn't take long and, and talking to the family to know that we wanted to come back home. Um, and, you know, I was blessed enough to get an interview. And once that happened and, and, and the things went and progressed, you know, I, I was able to get the job. The culture before Coach Izzy got here wasn't very strong. Uh, we didn't have that brotherhood that we have now. We didn't come together as a team. They didn't put us through the, through the stuff that they put us through now as, as to work together and to a big word that we learned this year was to edify each other and just to become better teammates. Uh, we tried to instill a mindset of, of, you know, that rent was due every day. And, and I think the, the athletes here at Harlingen South, I know that there was always talent here growing up here, uh, playing against Harlingen South growing up, uh, knowing that there was a tremendous amount of athletes on this side of town and, and uh, that they just needed probably the right leadership and, and the right people to push them in the right way. Somebody that understood them, somebody that knew uh, where, they were, where they were from. And, and uh, you know, we were blessed to be able to do that. Uh, we came in and uh, were able to change the mindset a little bit about our, our work ethic and, and show up every single day. And you know, you got to give it to the athletes. The athletes are the ones that showed up and, and decided to make the change. You know. Well, I mean, I was never the starter when the previous coach was here. Um, we didn't have that bond that me and Coach Izzy have. That bond of, of he's like a dad to me, and I'd run through a wall for him. I've built that trust for him over every day that we come to work together and that, we, that we, we're on the field and we're grinding. And I just know I can trust him. Our goal is a big game for our community. It's exciting. Um, you know, we tried to make sure that the athletes stayed focused. You know, it, it is a district football game for us. Uh, so it was an important football game. We tried to teach them that, you know, week to week, the most important game is the week that's up. But I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that, you know, there's a, that's a special week, you know, playing the Crosstown rivalry game, um, playing uh, my former school, uh, knowing that the drought had been uh, for so long, and, and, and knowing that uh, the kids really, really wanted uh, to win the football game. But it took a lot more than just that week to, to get us the victory. It took from the day that we got here uh, and the mentality shift. It's crazy how long it's really been since South has won Bird Bowl. And I remember going up, watching the Hawks, always rooting for them in Bird Bowl. We were predicted to win, but never won. And after we won, I was able to do that for us. Not just, it wasn't just for the 2021 South Hawks. It was for all the alumni and previous graduates. We knew that there was gonna be a hard fought battle and, and it turned out to be exactly that. And you know, we were proud of our boys, you know, going down 14-0 early. Uh, sticking with the game plan and being able to come out and tie the game 14-14 at half was huge for us. Uh, we knew we felt the momentum had shifted. Um, the crowd was amazing. The student body was amazing. Um, and it's a memory that I'll never forget. You know, afterwards, uh, obviously, you know, you kind of take a step back and, 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 uh, and see the big picture of, of what just happened. And, and, you know, we're excited about it. The kids were excited and they deserved it. And Harlem's and South deserved it. And, and uh, you know, our coaching staff deserved it as well as our athletes. So. It was a tremendous amount of emotion, um, you know, and, and now the thing is to be consistent. You know, we don't want to um, make it a 1-14 uh, series every year. We want to make sure that we can be consistent, and we know that that's going to be a great football game from here on out. Always having a district championship under your belt is great. Going into that game, we knew we had to play the best South football that we've played all year. and. As the leader, I told the guys that we can't come off, we can't come in sloppy. If we come in sloppy, we're gonna lose and we're not gonna perform the way we should. We gotta come out strong and as a team. And the confidence that the coaches gave me to lead this team really helped in a way. And I, I thank all my coaches 
Coach Izzy especially for, for giving me the opportunity and I'd like to give all glory to God as well. Coach Woodall was a lot of things to a lot of people. Uh, to me, he was a father figure. He was obviously a mentor in coaching, uh, not only to me, but to, to a tremendous amount of athletes all over this community, uh, on both sides of town, um, in Lyford. Um, you know, what he brought to Harlingen South was the same thing that he brought every single day of his life. You know, he brought a tremendous amount of energy, a tremendous amount of knowledge, and, and uh, you know, his outward appearance sometimes was a little rugged, and, and some kids might have even thought, you know, a little scary from the outlook. But once you got to know Coach Woodall, uh, you got to know that he had your best intentions. Uh, and he was going to push you uh, to make sure that you reach the best version of yourself. And I think that that's something that, that Harlingen South realized right away. Our athletes realized that he was here for the right reasons. And he was here uh, to get the best out of athletes. And, and, you know, we've tried to carry on that tradition. Um, you know, he's, he's been a staple of what this season was about and, and uh, a rallying cry at times. <laughs> And uh, no, he wasn't here physically to see the success that we had this football season, uh, but there's no doubt in our minds that he was watching over us at times, helping us at times, and, and, and having a big, huge smile uh, from, from heaven, you know, knowing that, that we had done what we had done this football season. I'm super proud to be home, super proud to be a Harlington South Hawk. Um, you know, I'm extremely proud of our athletes and to our coaching staff. I'm extremely proud of them as well. And as always, you know, all the glory goes to God and then we're just here as his vessels trying to do the right thing.